Hey everybody, welcome to the OCD Mikey Hi-Fi Guy Show and thank you for coming. Uh, another edition of the Mikey Show regarding audio. And uh, what I've got here is a DAC that I just brought in. This is a new brand that I represent to the United States and this is called New On Tech. This is made in Denmark. A very illustrious designer named Ole Nielsen who has designed for many other companies and is very good at making musical sounding beautiful sounding DAX and uh, and gear. He's just very good at what he does. This piece here is the DAC 8, DAC 08. The, the chassis is very nice, made out of nice solid aluminum pieces, you know. It's thick, got a, a, a beautiful knob here that is just, you know, uh, inscribed. Backside, you can see these are WBT Next Gen connectors. Eight different digital inputs. So you've got, that's a lot. You can plug eight different things into this this is probably, this is a killer that he puts a BNC. I really like that. Uh, All the way to USB, uses an Amonero input board, which almost everybody uses, very high grade. Pretty simple and straightforward. This is a $4,000 DAC, and it hits very high. I mean, this thing gets very high marks at the price point. I find that it, it, it is extremely musical sounding and engaging, and that is the main thing, something that is not harsh, not gonna bother, the ears, it sounds very natural and refined, and that's what this DAC 8 has. It's an amazing piece. Now, the real triumph and the real sleeper that I want to tell you guys about is that this DAC, this identical DAC, is available without the fancy looks of this chassis like this in the DAC 7. It is the identical board, it is the identical DAC. And this one here is only 2,000 bucks. It's half the price of the DAC 8. This thing is the real sleeper, okay? Um, if I open it up, you can see the design inside. It's very simple and very elegant. We've got a couple transformers up here that are low noise transformers. We've got all the, the, the capacitor banks and the power supply coming through here. You can see how nice and simple and clean it is. These are high-grade Nish Nishikon fine gold uh, caps, so, you know, it's a higher grade. Not that this makes... What makes this DAC is the circuit layout. It's not the fact. It's nice that they have Nish Nishikon fine gold. It just tells us that he went to the extra expense to give higher specification uh, capacitors, but this doesn't really make it. But it just tells you the intent of the designer at a $2,000 piece to include Nishikon Fine Gold and Wima, these red things. You know, this guy is really cares about giving you a value. He's not trying to just stiff you and put something out there because this thing would sound good without Wima, without the Nishikon Fine Gold. But this shows that Oli cares about what he's producing. Now we can also see from these pieces here, these are hand soldered. Okay, if we, if we come in here, let me, let me turn this around. You can see that the inputs and outputs, they're hand soldered. Okay, furthermore, this is, this shows us here, we've got pure silver in a Teflon tube. Okay, so that means this was hand fed into the tube and then hand soldered. Uh, different, these were zip tied. You can see the care was taken in making this thing. Um, even if you don't know what a good circuit design is and you have no idea to tell, you can look at the way this is laid out and how clean it is, and it, can, it will give you a great uh, idea of how much the manufacturer cares because of how they do this. This tells me that there was great care in taken. I can see there's, there's resistors that are flying across over here. Um, I can just see little details in here that let me know each and every piece they're uh handmade and 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 um you know this part probably isn't handmade you know it's probably inserted but but these wires are flown by hand so it, it shows a, a nice care this doesn't have the real expansive output stage some people would take this DAC and then put it with a big huge tube output stage and you could charge a lot more, you know, because it got big tubes popping through the lid and all that kind of stuff. But I'm telling you, we've done some testing with this DAC and we put it into people's rigs that have MyTech, Manhattan, MyTech, Brooklyn's, 
and we're killing them. Uh, and and it's, it's, it's really quite cool. So I just wanted to tell you a little bit about this, the new OnTech TAC 07. If we look around, we go to the back, we still have the same outputs, or I mean the same inputs. Uh, as you can see, it's both balanced and single-ended. And then we've got a shielded AC input right here. So that protects it from any of the surrounding circuitry. You can see inside, if you look inside here, we've got three different cap brands. Okay, um, so that means he hand selected these for their, actually four different cap brands. We've got Nishikon Muse, we've got um, Nishikon Fine Gold, we've got, um, um, this is a Elna, and then this one is also Elna, I think, in that color. But in other words, what it's telling us is that he has chosen these different caps for their different properties. He's got them in certain places for certain reasons. So that means he's tried different caps and listened and chosen a selection of different brands to get a result that is the culmination of all his efforts. Certain audio gear is made for looks. We could take this $4,000 DAC, we could put a solid copper chassis on it, we could put um, a, a, you know, a knob that made out of Swarovski crystal, uh, you know, and, and, and we could charge 15 grand for it, 20 grand for it. Um, but it would have the same circuit as this one here. This DAC is for a true person in the know that understands. Now, if you think about it, think about the people that made this thing. In order to sell this at a retail value of $2,000, why would they even engage in that sort of an exercise? Think of all the, it's the same amount of labor to put this together than it is to put this together, okay? Um, and it's like, why would they even do this? This, you should recognize this as this is a sign from that company that they are giving back to the audio community because this is almost not worth their time. What are they making? You know, three, four hundred dollars a piece on it, something like that. You know, profit, give me a break. Well, they'd have to sell so many of these and this is not even a high volume piece. I've got three now. I'd probably get 20 of them, you know, this year. Um, so, this is for people that are in the know. I like to bring you this kind of product because I know how to find these things. Um, that is sort of one of the things I specialize in is finding these hidden gems, bringing them to you guys so you can have something like this, which is a true audiophile piece built by somebody that is very passionate about the hi-fi arts. Okay, it, it's obvious to tell how this is put, put together. And for two grand, it's absolutely ludicrous. It's not even worth their time, really, but they do it anyways, which tells us a lot about the company. I call this a gimme. This is a gift. This is a gift to people in the, in the hi-fi industry, just looking at the build, listening to it, and knowing how good it sounds. And for only 2 k when I if I open this up, it's the identical board. The only thing they did was they changed these RCA outputs to make WBT, and then the caps that are inside are, are, are twice the capacitance. So they're taller, but they're not even Nishikon fine gold. They're more of a, of a, of a, of a, of a basic grade. They're like these brown uh, Elnas, um, and they are, but they're, they're higher capacitance. But I'm telling you, for the difference, this is the piece to get. I've got three of them right now. Don't email, call me. Um, that's the best way to get a hold of me because I don't sit at my desk all day. I do have my phone on me at all given times. So again, this is the new OnTech. I am the US importer and the sold seller for new OnTech in the United States. And this is the DAC 7 made by Ole Nielsen in Denmark for you guys as a gift. And you can see again, made in Denmark. Uh, so it is uh, a hell of a piece. So anybody in the market for a $2,000 DAC, what this allows you to do is you don't have to buy a Chinese DAC. If you got two grand to, to, to purchase something, Go ahead, you can buy this. The reason I keep saying Denmark, some of the best products come out of Denmark. Look at Borison, Rado, uh, you know, um, Griffin. You know, these are all Denmark. I mean, almost everything coming out of Denmark is terrific product. This is no different. So just wanted to bring you that. Thanks for joining. See you.